didn't. So this thing, it's uh, missing his hand here. I think his foot is missing. He's a hot mess. Uh, and he sold super fast. So if you can find this guy complete, he's definitely going to sell for more. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is a bread and butter Bolo video. What does that mean? It means these are items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. They are easier to find items that I have picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, uh, Facebook Marketplace, YouTube auctions, you name it, wherever I can source it cheap. I love to bundle and I love to source cheap. So that is one thing that you're going to see a lot of on my channel. I have tons of bread and butter videos, but I also have big money bolo videos. But even on my big money bolo videos, a lot of the items I sourced pretty cheap. So I guess I'm cheap. <laughs> all right. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I paid for all 30 of these items. And I'm going to tell you what I made um, in total. So you can kind of get an idea of numbers and, and it is possible to source really cheap and make really good money. Um, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And I share with you Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for if you are a reseller. So um, thanks for being here and let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold um, came out of a thrift store toy box. And um, this one, I, I don't know. A lot of times I just redonate items like this, but it kind of intrigued me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. It's, it's marked leapfrog. It goes to something. I was able to figure it out. And um, I ended up taking a best offer of $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And just to give you an idea with tax and shipping on this, it came to $24.23. So um, imagine how much we could sell our items for <laughs> if shipping wasn't so crazy. Oh my goodness. Do you ever think about that? Anyway, leapfrog cook, play, number, loving oven replacement parts. And I do like to sell replacements. Uh, these came from the Goodwill bins and I actually just picked two more of these up at the Goodwill bins. So they are available in my eBay store currently. Um, I paid uh, by weight. It's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins. And if you like to watch those types of videos where people are digging through the bins, I have a bunch of them. And as you watch the video, I will pop up screenshots of how I listed everything that I picked up that day. So I do keep it educational, but it's still fun to see if I missed anything. So check out a couple of those videos. I think you'll really enjoy them. So my cost of goods for this was probably a dollar, maybe a little more. Uh, I sold these for $9.92 plus shipping. The next item is this Cabbage Patch Kids birth certificate. I was at a garage sale and I picked up a bunch of Cabbage Patch clothing and um, there was also another doll clothing. But anyway, I think I'm going to bring that stuff to Whatnot. Um, if you're not following me on Whatnot, there is a link down in the description. It is a referral link. And if you use it to sign up and join, you'll get a $10 credit to shop. Now, I keep saying I'm going to Whatnot, which I will eventually, but I'm making these piles of things I want to sell over there. And these doll clothes would be fantastic. So um, garage sale, but I did list these. These were the adoption papers and they just kind of threw these in for free. So my cost of goods was really nothing. Um, and I sold this for $14 plus shipping. I want to say I have five or six of these listed. So that was, that was a fun find. This one sold pretty quickly. I guess, you know, it's going to take the right buyer who's looking for the certificate for their doll because they all have names, right? This right here is an American Girl Welly Wisher doll. And um, a friend of mine went to the Goodwill bins with me for the first time. And she actually, I thought she was going to be bored, but her cart was like full. It was incredible. And um, I am going to have video footage of that. But she also shopped for me. And this was one of the items that she picked out. So let me tell you what I did. I took this doll and she had on clothes and boots. And I'm selling her outfit separately. And I'm selling her boots separately. And you'll see her boots in another video. They sold already. And I sold the doll and I still have the outfit available. But she sold for th uh, $13.64 plus shipping. And it was just a way for me to maximize my profits with this item. 
I do think that maybe somebody cut her hair. It just seems kind of jagged to me, but maybe that's how they're made. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think she had a haircut? Um, but anyhow, uh, sold really fast, even with her hair being that way. And that was a Goodwill Benz find. This also was a good bill, Goodwill Benz find. It is just a timer. I thought it looked kind of cool. It lights up. Um, just a major bread and butter. Probably had about a buck in this. It sold for $8.64 plus shipping. This right here, I could not figure out what this was. Um, I tried Google Lens. I don't know how I ended up. I think I just went to Creative Memories and started searching like solds to figure this out because Google Lens wasn't picking it up. Oh my goodness. But it is, it's called Journaltopia Writing Guide, Journal Straight Lines with Cover. No clue how this thing works, but I sold it and it sold really fast for $7.44. This came in a uh, scrapbooking lot that I picked up at a garage sale and the buyer paid shipping on that. Um, I do not do free shipping. So if you hear um, what they paid for it, uh, that is without tax and shipping, unless I say they were all in. This right here, okay, I love this one, okay? Um, it is a Pacific Rim action figure, and I got this out of the Goodwill bins. I knew that it was incomplete, but I was digging all kinds of stuff out of there, and I was hoping maybe I was going to have some of the parts in my bag um, or in my cart, but I didn't. So this thing, it's uh, missing his hand here. I think his foot is missing. He's a hot mess, uh, and he sold super fast. So if you can find this guy complete, he's definitely going to sell for more. Um, but you can sell action figures for parts or repair. Just put it in the title. Um, so I paid less than a dollar for him and I sold him for a best offer of $8.50 plus shipping. And I used Google Lens to figure out who he was. This is a vintage Dawn doll. I got her at an estate sale. I, um, I'm going to say that, oh no, wait. Hold on a second. Yeah, this was the estate sale one. I got some at a garage sale too, but I lotted those up. Um, I I want to say I paid, I can't remember. I feel like I paid up for her. I, I might have paid $7.50 for her because I'm seeing 75. And I know I didn't pay 75 cents for her because that was one of those kind of womp womp. I paid too much. Um, but I did end up selling her for $20 plus shipping. So it wasn't completely awful, but $7.50 is really high for me to pay for something. Uh, Cincy, he's a live Halloween Frankenstein monster plug-in warmer. This came from a garage sale. I did pay up for this also. Um, I paid $5 for it. And I sold this for $25 plus shipping. The next item, I love selling these. It is a Singamajig toy. And I do really good with these. They usually sell pretty quickly for me. Um, I got this at the Goodwill Bins, probably around a buck in it. And it sold for $17.36 plus shipping. This right here is a Plush Creations Orangutan Monkey from 1988. Also came from the Goodwill Bins. This one probably had a little bit more in because um, he was a bigger item. Some days they do 99 cent plush. He may have fell into that category because the bigger ones are 99 cents and the smaller ones are by weight. So I think he might've been 99 cents. Um, I sold him for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage Cub Scout leader plush bear. This also came from the Goodwill bins, about a dollar in this. Sold it for $10 plus shipping. Oh, I put him on there twice. All right, our generation pet care playset, plush dog, bed, food, water, dishes, collar, and leash. This was in a bag, like a Ziploc bag, a gallon size bag at the Goodwill bins. And I just threw it in my cart. Um, got home, looked it up. It's our generation. It's super cute. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping, but I don't think that the dog actually went with the set, but um, it worked with it. So. This is a vintage Bradley doll musical raindrops, purple polka dot dress doll. Um, I got it at a garage sale for $1 and I took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. Okay, right here. This is a cube bot. It's like a puzzle. It's by David Weeks. And I was at the Goodwill Benz and one of the gals that I shop with, her name is Dee. She's like, check this out, Courtney. And she's like, you want it? And I'm like, yeah, I can sell that. 
So I went ahead and took it and it took a little while to sell, but I just saw her the other day at the bins. I'm like, Hey, you remember that thing you gave me that toy? I'm like, I sold it. I was all excited. It's just a bread and butter. I sold it for $13 plus shipping. The next item is this Boyd's Bear uh, Bearsworth plush bear. Um, I got this at the Goodwill for $1 and I sold it for a best offer of 14 plus shipping. This one right here is a Mr. Christmas Goodnight Lights Blowout Santa's Candle. So when you blow into that little hole right there, it turns the light on and off. And I have a video that shows how it works. That is over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel if you want to check out that channel. And I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. And this was also from the Goodwill bins, probably a couple bucks in that one. These are uh, windows from the Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. I was at the Goodwill bins and I pulled these off of a dollhouse. Uh, the dollhouse was damaged. It had like glitter on it. And um, I actually had to clean off some of the windows because the glitter was glued onto it. It wasn't in great shape. I didn't want the dollhouse. Most of the items that don't, from what I understand, if they go out to the floor and they do not sell, they are taken to the back and they go to a landfill. Um, I knew that I could sell these windows. I have sold them individually in the past. You guys have seen them in my videos. Uh, I'm not going to let those go to the landfill when I know somebody needs them for their dollhouse. So I pulled off the windows. I pulled off the doors. I pulled off anything that um, would come off that I could sell. These sold really quickly for $22.75 plus shipping. This right here uh, cracks me up pretty much. Uh, it was one of those things where I'm like, should I buy it? I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy this, but I bought it and it sold so fast. They are Shark Steam Spray Mop uh, Santa Fiber Pad Refills. It was a pack of 12 and six of them were missing. Okay, so here are the ones that came with it, but there were also these other pads included in there. So I just went ahead and disclosed exactly what was going on there. Sold super fast for $13 plus shipping. And again, that came from the Goodwill bins. Got these at the Goodwill for $2. They are ornaments. They're ceramic, Minnie and Mickey. Um, they did say Japan. And I sold these for $22.75 plus shipping. This right here came from my bulk buy jewelry buy. I bought 365, I think, was it 365 or pounds of jewelry? off of eBay. There's a whole story behind that. You can check my old, old videos to see that. I still have a huge tote full that I haven't even touched, um, but I kind of got burnt out. So, um, and I just, it's in my money pile. Anyway, I sold this brooch for $10 and the buyer played uh, shipping and tax all in for $15.62. It's a vintage signed Kramer brooch. I think that's Kramer. This right here, um, sold really quickly. Uh, it is a Fisher Price Imaginex Castle horse. It's retired from 2005. I also dug this out of the bins, so probably like a quarter. Sold it for $11 plus shipping. These are Thanksgiving turkey napkin rings. They're ceramic, and I got these at a thrift store for $2.50. The buyer um, made me an offer of 20, and I went ahead and took that, and they paid tax and shipping all in for $33.16. This came out of a, um, it says, this one came from a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. It's a YouTube channel that I source on. And her and Donatella Bottolino, they have separate channels. It's Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You. I will link them down below if you're looking for inventory. And I always throw them on while I'm listing or shipping and working. And then if I hear something that I sound interested in, I will go over and um, I can bid on the items or I can just watch and see if it's something that I want to buy. Um, so it's a great way to source while you're at home working, or if you can't get out and source, it's also a fantastic place to source, but they're linked down below. I got this in a toy box and I do have unboxings of the stuff that I purchased from them um, because it's usually a big box, a reseller box. And I show you everything that I got and I show you how I list it and I pop up screen shares of things have sold. I show you that. So they're very educational videos. Um, you can probably go into my search and uh, put Bolo Buddies, Donatella Bottolino, or Bolo Buddies Auctions for You, and those videos should pull up for you. I ended up taking a best offer on this little Oscar the Grouch pickle juice toy figure from the Muppets. Sold him for $6 plus shipping. He's just a little figure, you guys. These are fantastic. 
Here's another, just a little toy figure. I can't remember where this guy came from. Probably a thrift store or a mystery toy box or something. But it's a Wubsy, a Wow Wow Wubsy, purple walled in three inch figure. Um, I think I figured out what this was, <coughs> excuse me, from uh, using Google Lens. If you don't know how to use Google Lens, I do have a tutorial video. It's free. It's a free app and it is going to help you identify your items so that you can figure out how to list them. Uh, definitely use that tool. Sold this for $9.10 plus shipping. This little guy came out of a thrift store, a uh, little bag of toys. I, so I got about 15 cents in it. It's a kid robot Frank Kozik Labbit with hot dog minifigure. And I sold this for $11.70 plus shipping. He's just a little guy. Check him out. The next item is this vintage Halloween Talking Grim Reaper door bell 1995 Toy State Lights and Sounds. This came out of a thrift store Halloween mystery box. I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping, had about a dollar in that. Here is a vintage Halloween AJC brooch. It is Halloween themed. Definitely going to pick those up. I got it at a thrift store. I did pay up a little bit for this at $1.50 and I sold this for a best offer of $22 plus shipping. This is a vintage Fisher Price loving family mom. And this also came out of a toy box from auctions for you. I sold this for $12.35 plus shipping. And the buyer was all in for $18.27 on that. The next item is this Pokemon Nintendo figure. And I picked this up at a, oh, I, actually, that was the Goodwill Bins. And I picked it up, so probably for like a quarter, maybe 50 cents. Sold this for $9 plus shipping. Um, so the buyer was all in for $15.20 on that. It is Mag Mortar figure, and it's by Jax. Uh, Jax, is it Jax Pacific, I think? But it's from 2008. And you guys, it's got scuffs and marks. It is far from perfect. And these little figures still will sell. So definitely be on the lookout. All right. So do you want to hear some totals? Um, I thought I, when I added it up, I thought that one doll was 75 cents. So I'm going to say cost of goods. Uh-oh. Okay. Cost of goods was around $42 for all 30 items and without tax and shipping sold price $417.69. So to me, $42 into $417. I love it. I love those margins. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I do source cheap and that's one thing that I'm known for. Uh, I think giving you these numbers is going to help um, show that. Thank you for being here. Leave me a comment down in the, uh, in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.